Hi, Uncle John here, and we're going to go ahead and continue on with our Pokemon Violet playthrough. We've completed all of teams. We've uh, com defeated all of the team star bases, and uh, now we're going to go back to Mesa Goza. If I can hit the right button. And in Mesa Goza, we have the culmination of several storylines. Um, because we are going to face Nimona for the last time. We're going to face uh, the end of the Team Star uh, path. And both of these are going to allow us to get towards the true ending of the game. And we also are going to need to eventually track down the lighthouse where we met Arvin. Nimona. Any second now. Ah, there you are, Uncle John. You ready for a battle between champions? Because all these folk here seem ready to watch. We got around, I guess. And every sing out of every single person gathered here, I'm the most excited by a mile. Stage is set. It's my all out power versus your strength and true fruition. Let's see who comes out on top. I think she leads with Pombo, which is bad for us. You're challenged by champion Nimona. A oh, Lycan Rock. Excellent! We're not four times weak against Lycan Rock. We're only one. We're only two times weak against Lycan Rock. Finally, the thing I've waited for all this time. Time to begin our greatest battle of all. I think we have to beat him too. Lycan Rock goes down. Palmot, switch Pokemon. Double shock. Hmm, not too bad. Forgot about Palmot also being a uh, fighting type and us super effectively raffle stomping him with our play rough. Orthworm. Earthworm is ground and steel, so. Swap Gyarados back in. Mm. 
waterfall should begin to be massively body press not very effective. Gonna send out the Dunsparce. Let's go ahead and keep this Pokemon in. Duh, Grambo would have been the smart one. Well, she's sending out Skeledurge. We're going to go ahead and send Gyarados back out. Alright, it's down to this. My last Pokemon. We're going to fight with everything we've got. We are going to go ahead and terastalize because she deserves it. She deserves us going all out to beat her. Shine blazingly bright, my greatest treasure. You did it! This is legit incredible! You're the strongest out there, Uncle John! I mean, you knocked me flat! I was giving you absolutely everything I had! Everything I... I... Ha <laughs> ha! Oh man! Pokemon battling, am I right? It's so much better, so much more fun than I ever knew! Thanks for that incredible match. You beat me fair and square.
Now let's give ourselves a minute to have a quick break, Uncle John, before round two. Which Pokemon should I bring out this time? Decisions, decisions. Victory Road. Complete. Master Uncle John. How's your treasure hunt coming along? Having all sorts of fun adventures, I hope. Yeah, it's been great. Wonderful, I'm glad to hear it. Do keep in mind that the treasure hunt has no set course or criteria that you must follow. Simply go where your heart takes you and you shall do splendidly. Speaking of such pursuits, there's been something on my mind of late. If I could ask for your expertise on the matter, I would be most grateful. You see, I recently heard a word whose meaning escapes me. I believe some, it to be some sort of slang. Tell me, what does chugi mean? Something super d cool. So, I see. So one might say, today's lesson was the chugiest. Is that right? The words used by young people these days are often quite beyond my comprehension. But when I learn the meanings behind the words, I find that I feel that much closer to my students. I'm most grateful for your help on that front. You become slightly closer with Director Clavel. Okay. Well. Let's, uh, you, Gyarados, and the rest of your team are all better. up, Uncle John? Oh, come on. The name's Clive, remember? Actually, no. It's time for me to bring this performance to an end. Allow me to reveal my true identity. Ha-ha! Director Clavel? I do apologize for deceiving you with my disguise. In truth, the boy you knew as Clive was none other than the director of the Academy, Mr. Clavel. I already knew that. What? But my disguise was perfect. 
Although, now that you think about it, I did neglect to keep up my youthful act on a few occasions. That must have been what gave me away. Regardless, there's still one more astonishing truth I must tell you. The true identity of Cassiopeia, the big boss of Team Star, was me all along. That's impossible. Honest to goodness. When you hear Cassiopeia over the phone, it was actually a pre-recorded voice. I pulled it off using, er, uh, you know, one of those high-tech gizmos. Yes, it was very clever. So Master Uncle John, now that you know that I'm the big boss, that means there's just one thing left to do. Face me in one final showdown to decide it all. Challenge my direct to Clovel. Hi, I'm Cassiopeia of Team Star. With this battle, I will finally bring Operation Starfall to an end. Poltergeist. I'm going to go ahead and keep battling against Poltergeist. Go ahead and put Delibird in from Meowskirata since we resist that damn flower chick four times. It's the only quarter damage. Yeah, to think that I, Cassiopeia, would be backed into a corner like this. Very well, it seems that I shall have to terrestrialize my Pokemon. I could have done that, but I'm not going to. Because the extra attack is not worth my defense against the move that I know that he's going to use.
Oh, he didn't. But we did knock him out with a super effective area legs. How strong you have grown. Well now, Master Uncle John, seems you've grown quite splendidly over the course of your treasure hunt. And here, once again, I must apologize. I am not actually Cassiopeia. Though Clive and myself being the same person was no lie, mind you. Cassiopeia's true identity remains hidden. But I believe I can hazard a, hazard a guess as to who they are. That's why I spot to spare you from having to confront them in battle. Their sorrows should not be yours to bear. However, Cassiopeia has settled on a course of action and is determined to see it through. I do not imagine any ordinary student could hope to stand against them and win, so I challenge you to test your skill. If you had lost, I would have, it would have fallen on me to bring down Cassiopeia. Such was my resolve. But it turns out you are as strong as you are kind. If anyone has a chance at saving that poor child, it is surely you. As an educator, I must... It shames me to burden one of my students with such a task. But please, defeat Cassiopeia. Take on the big boss of Team Star and win. Leave it to me. Thank you. From the bottom of my heart, I leave it in your hands. You there, what are you doing? Ah, Miss Time, a pleasure to see you. No pleasure at all, Mr. Clavel. I come out here to... Investigate reports of an illicit battle on school grounds, and what do I find? Why, the director of the academy himself, facing off against one of our students, no less. Facing off? What are you thinking? Uh, if I can just explain, you can see it's a rather sca sad tale. Oh, spare me. Your excuses reek worse than a stunky's behind. A stunky's behind? Ahem. Remember, the big boss asked us to meet them in the schoolyard after dark. I'm counting on you, Mr. Uncle John. You'll write a letter of apologies to the students and faculty at once. I'll be reporting this to the chairwoman of the school board. Make no mistakes. Good gracious, no anything but that I am. Since I don't have a broadcast time slot to fill, I think that I'm going to go ahead and try and finish this out. And then next episode we're going to do Arvin. Because uh, it's best to have... You don't have to complete them in a particular order, but it's best to have Victory Road and Starfall Street completed when you do the end game of... Um, of Titan Path of Legends so now now it becomes night and we see Uncle John Thanks for coming. Yeah, this must be quite a shock for you. The big boss, Cassiopeia, they were both me all along. 
When I saw you make quick work of those Team Star la lackeys outside the school, the idea for Operation Starfall suddenly came to me. My skills let me get a hold of as much LP as I want, so I decided to use that to tempt you into helping me out. After the operation started, I kept an eye on you as a member of the supply unit. And I had you battle the bosses on my behalf. All for the goal of defeating me and putting an end to Team Star once and for all. But still, there's a part of me that wants Team Star to live on. I can't just roll over and let you win without putting up a fight. This is the final showdown. Are you ready? I'm ready. It's the ultimate showdown of ultimate destiny. Thanks. Sorry to keep you. The letter of apology to Miss Time, er, I mean the preparations took longer than I expected. That voice, are you Clive? Penny, so it was you after... No, I mean, is that you, Cassiopeia? In the flesh. I have a task for you, Clive, if you will accept it. I want you to record what happens next so I can send the video to Team, Team Star. They need to see the outcome of this battle for themselves. Okay, will do. Okay. And let's see who she sends out first. And allow me to introduce myself properly. I'm the big boss of Team Star. The name's Cassiopeia. No. Penny. Now bow down before the overwhelming might of Team Star's founder. You're challenged by Penny of Team Star. She sends out an Umbreon. I won't hold back in this battle. I'll stay true to Team Star's code. uses baby doll eyes to lower our attack but we use dragon dance to increase our attack and our speed hurricane confuses it Umbreon is confused and hurts itself in confusion. Excellent. Let's use the ice thing on it. Jolteon. Send out our grand bowl.
Flareon, we're gonna put Gyarados back out. Baby Doll Eyes to lower our attack. Waterfall to lower his life. Leafy on. Hurricane does it for Leafy on. Vaporeon. We're a little under leveled, but it'll be okay. Okay, Vaporeon is gone. <coughs> Sylveon. I can't fault you on your battle skills at all. No wonder the bosses fell to your hands. Time to terrestrialize. Shine bright like the starry sky and become who you truly are. Well, I'm glad I don't have a dragon up against it. I guess I actually did have a good choice, but it might have been dead. And there goes Sylveon. Broke his terrestrialization, faint animation, goes back. Victory dance! We have defeated Team Star's Penny. Hmm. It's all over now. It's finally over, guys. It's done. We're done here. I think we should call it quits. Hold up. 
Are you saying we should break up the team? You gotta be joking. We got carried away with Operation Star. Now everything's gotten out of hand. Yeah, well, that's what happens when you round up a bunch of bullies in a courtyard and make a show of learning some manners. But we didn't even fight them in the end. We didn't do anything wrong. Indeed, merely did we declare our intentions to battle tooth and nail should the villains persist in their tyrannous oppression. It was a bloodless victory, we assure you. Yeah, they didn't even send out their Pokemon. They're just blubbering and apologized a whole lot. Our outfits must have spooked them good. But, but the bullies made a huge stink about what went down, and they all ended up leaving the academy. Our plan backfired epically. There's no way we're getting off scot-free. I guess you're right. This little stunt might have put us up a creek. I'll fix this mess on my end. Just leave it to me. What are you saying? I'm the one who started Team Star. I dragged you in all into this. So I'll take responsibility for everything. Oh, noble and kind big boss, you cannot. Now that the bullies are gone, you guys should keep, start going to school again. Oh yeah? And what about you? I can't go back. Why, there's no reason for you to stay shut in your room anymore, right? All I can say to you guys is, thanks. Even though we never met in person, you are also kind to me. Stop right there, BB. Why are you talking like we'll never speak again? I need to go take care of some things. Pretty speak to us. What is thine intent? Hey, Big Boss, answer us. Bye bye guys, thanks for everything. <coughs> thanks for everything, Uncle John. And you too, Clive. I'm glad I could see this through to the end. I guess this is for Team Star and me too. Hold that thought, Miss uh Penny, I'd like to check something with you first. Check what? Why resort to doing something like Operation Starfall if you're the big boss of Team Star? Wasn't there any other way to handle this? I tried telling the bosses we were done once before and they still didn't quit. Why not simply order them to? Our code states that no one in the team has the right to order people around. I could ask them all to do stuff, but I could never order them. So, it's back to the code again. The bosses must have taken it very seriously. They did. That's why I knew I could use it to force Team Star to disband. Because the bosses would do anything the code required of them, even leave the team. Yes, and according to the code, they have to accept any challenge made to them. Thus the idea for Ch Operation Starfall. Cassiopeia, let me ask you one last thing. What does Team Star? No, your friends. What do your friends in the team mean to you? They're... They're my greatest treasure. Splendid. Thanks for apprising me of the situation, Miss Penny. What? Now, young lady, there's something I should very much like to discuss with you. Hey, quit the old geezer act, Fly Clive. You're creeping me out. Indeed, well then, before we talk further, allow me to reveal to you my own secret identity. Ha-ha! Director Clavel! <coughs> Just as Cla Cassiopeia was used of in disguise, the boy you knew as Clive was mine. But, but why? I need a way to talk to Team Star on equal terms. Students tend to shy away from teaching, speaking too much of their mind to teachers. Much more so when faced with the director of the academy. Yeah, but where do I even start? Wasn't the outfit a bit much? Plus, I've got some big feelings about that wig. Ahem, <coughs> well, that's quite enough for now. Everyone, why don't you come on out? Huh? Yo, Big Boss, long time no see. Momo. Mm. 
more like long time no meet, right? I mean, we only found out your real name just now. Melly. Verily is thy long hidden continence a sight for sore eyes, my lady. Atticus. So, um, I heard your real name's Penny. How have you been this whole time? Gordy. We found out. Found you at last. You have no idea how worried we've been. Harry. Okay, gang, on the count of three. One, two. Hasta la vista, Penny. And hello, Penny. Now then, Miss Penny, and each of you, your young bosses as well. On behalf of the Academy, I have something I would like to say to Team Star. You all have my sincerest, sincerest apologies. Come again? As the director of the Academy, I let you down. My handling of your situation was a dismal failure. Why? Well, I, st I still don't... I mean, why? You all told me about your reasons for forming Team Star and about your subsequent actions. Ever since my first days as director, I've never... Ex all I've ever experienced of the Academy is an environment blessedly free of bullying. But now I know that this piece was built on the backs of your hurt and anger, and of course, your immense courage to put things right. And so, I'll get straight to the conclusion. The Academy's order for Team Star to disband, and any threat to the and my threat to dispel those who expel those who did not obey, is hereby revoked. Does that mean what I think it means? Indeed, Team Star can continue exist should that be your wish. Woohoo, Penny! Isn't that great? Now we can all stay together. Oh, my heart is gl giddy with glee, but I betrayed you all. You mean Operation Starfall? Director Clavel told us all about it. As far as, as far as we heard, you only went through with it to save us from getting out expelled. You were just worried about us, right? Not that we'd ever check the team just because someone told us to. After all, ain't our style. I cannot even imagine how you must have feared for us, Lady Penny. Sorry for making you worry, BB. We're all okay now. But even so... Hold on, everyone. I have more to say. As previously stated, the requirement for Team Star to disband has been revoked. However, there are still some unsettled matters to discuss. Allow me to provide a few examples. Your protracted truancy, your brazen customization of school uniforms, your unauthorized use of academy equipment, your reckless modifications and jeopardous driving of Pokemon-powered vehicles, Need I go on? Your flagrant disregard for the school rules cannot simply be overlooked. <sighs> Thus, as punishment, you will be re all be required to engage in customer community service. Community service? Yes, specifically I'll be asking you to manage the STCs. And that stands for the Star Training Centers. They shall be facilities for cultivating Pokemon trainers' talents. I planned for the Academy to found them in collaboration with the Pokemon League. The idea came to me when I saw Master Uncle John battling his way through your bases. The base's construction, as well as the battle tactics employed by the students in Team Star, are remarkably unique and creative. I would ask that you continue your team activities, but henceforth as STTC staff members, using your former training bases as facilities. And that is the sum of it. Does anyone have any concerns? Uh, no? Sounds fun. I don't see how this would be anything but a win-win. This may be a weird thing to say, but since the STCs are supposed to be a punishment and all, but you really should join in, too. It is true. We will most happily have you at our sides, milady. And we can go to school together, too. That way, if anything happens, we'll be there to protect you. We're already talking about how great it'd be to have Team Star, both Team Star and school in our lives. This would be a sweet deal for us. So what do you say? 
You guys. Uncle John, what do you think? Sounds great. Huh, but I, um, I just... No need to give me your response right this moment, Miss Penny. Do take your time to decide. For now, at least, I think our little group should go our separate ways. Ah. Not to say you should break up Team Star, after all. I simply meant that it's time to leave. Master Uncle John, please stop by my office later, if you would. Okay. We want to go to the director's office. Ah, oh, there you are, Master Uncle John. I want to thank you for all your hard work in resolving the situation with Team Star. If not for you, I suspect I would have done the team a grievous injury, injustice in my choice of punishments for their actions. You have my sincere gratitude. Knock on the door. Who is it? Uh, Miss Penny. Ah, Miss Penny, please do come in. Uh, hello, Director. About the STCs, I'd like to work on them together with the rest of Team Star. That's wonderful news. Thank you very much for your favorable response. But, um, I should be punished more heavily than the others, I think. Why so? Because of Operation Starfall? No, not that. Because of the other really bad thing I did. And what would that be? Um, you know the LP I gave you both in exchange for helping me with Operation Starfall? I got a hold of it sort of, uh, illegally by packing, hacking the Pokemon League's LP management system? I see, that's quite the revelation. I did not know that such a thing was even possible in the first place. It wasn't all that hard, I, or I mean, I'm really sorry and I won't do it again. Hmm. This matter is rather out of my jurisdiction, I'm afraid. I'll have to consult with Miss Gita, the Pokemon League chairwoman, on how best to proceed. I figured as much. I do apologize, Master Uncle John, but I will have to ask you to give us some privacy. Okay. Auto save. And... We are approaching 50 minutes. Uh, so I think that it's time to like, comment, subscribe. And uh, if you've got any friends who th you think would like this sort of content, please let them know so that we can continue to grow the channel. Uh, and I want you all to have a wonderful day. And I look forward to seeing you next time. Uh, when we're going to go and find out the secrets of Maridon.